Hey guys, what's up? It's Lindsay again. <laughs> I'm filming a few videos today, and this is the second shirt I put on for my second video. So, um, but yeah, hi guys, my name is Lindsay. If you're new here, I'd love you to subscribe. And I thought a fun video would be to kind of play on an old trend of a YouTube trend that we were doing a few months ago, which was like how much I spend in a week as a blah, 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 blah. So I thought it'd be funny to do how much I spend in a week before quarantine, and then how much I've spent in a week in quarantine like online shopping wise or I'm not, I haven't even looked at my bank account but obviously I use my credit my debit or credit card um to buy things so I thought I would just go on there and choose a week and track it because I don't carry cash so obviously all my expenses would be on there so I think this would be fun and I'm gonna start with pre-quarantine so I, I am a student uh in Toronto so I go to fashion school at Ryerson uh, Fashion Communication for a little background of maybe some expenses. I don't know what I even spent money on. I just thought this would be really funny to do. I'm gonna do like the week right before quarantine before I quarantined. And then I'm gonna do this past week because I've done some online shopping so I want it to be somewhat interesting. March 8th, Sunday March 8th to Sunday March 15th. Background, I did have a monthly transit pass I don't know, I think I'll include that. It was, which was 128 a month, which I'm mad because I left. I paid for the March one, but I left halfway through, so I lost half of that. Divided by four and a half, because that's how many weeks there are in a month, approximately. Is it? I'm not gonna include rent, just because I don't really wanna like, say how much I spend in rent. And I don't wanna divide it by a week, whatever. So all my utilities are included in my rent, blah, 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 blah. I do myself like get charged for the, um, I. I was the one who was responsible for the internet, so that was $95.99. So all my friends transferred me $19.20 on March 9th. So that's $19.20 of my own money that I had to put in, obviously, because for my share of next, the same day, March 9th, I went grocery shopping and I spent $79.56 at No Frills. I don't really spend that much on uh, groceries. And then Monday, March 9th, the literal same day, I spent $2.72 on Tim Hortons. I was really obsessed with their iced lattes. They are actually really good. I wish they came with um, non-dairy milk because obviously I don't want to drink dairy milk. Got one of those that day. I remember I was very exhausted from carrying all those groceries. So that was Monday, March 9th. And then I didn't buy anything until Thursday, March 12th. I was charged for my Amazon membership, which was $4.51, Amazon Prime. And Friday, March 13th, this was like the few days that was like, things were happening. This is when they canceled their classes and it, they canceled the school for elementary school like two weeks after March break. This is when things were going down. So me and my friends went to the grocery store on Friday, March 11th, and I spent $34.69. Um, I don't really do that much grocery shopping in one week, but I guess I was stocking up. On oh yeah, I had ordered um, a Reebok hoodie because they were having a sale on February 29th. Everything was like $29 or something. So I paid that off. That was $37.37 on my credit card. Okay, and that <clears throat> March 14th, me and my friends went out, um, we didn't go, no, we didn't go out, we went to Megan's house, or Megan's apartment, and, like, celebrated St. Patrick's Day, um, and we were kind of like, should we go out, should it be fun, but that was, like, the day I was like, okay, I'm not going out in public, I don't want the coronavirus, it was like, the one things were getting really scary and really, like, legit, but we did go get shawarma <laughs> that evening, <laughs> 565 and then so let's add that up that's not that bad for one week i would normally have to spend things at copyright or something on campus to print stuff for my classes but um let's add this up so i'm gonna add my transit 128 divided by 4.5 is 28.4 dollars the grand total is 212 dollars and 14 cents not that bad i did go grocery shopping a lot that week and i don't know why i normally probably would spend less on groceries or I only go grocery shopping every like th two to three weeks to be honest. And I would get like fresh food, like a big grocery haul every two to three weeks. Um, I would get fresh whatever, like more often than that. Okay, so $212.14 pre-quarantine. After quarantine, I'm gonna do this past week because I've done some online shopping, <laughs> which is not good. I'm not saying engage in post-consumerism, but there was some sales that I just been wanting to treat myself for finishing school. So we're doing it from Thursday 16th to today. And I'll do it from the 15th to the 22nd because today is not over. And maybe I'll do some more damage somewhere. 
Actually, I, ha I didn't spend anything from the 15th to the 20th. Didn't go anywhere, didn't buy anything. I went, did some online shopping on April, Monday, April 20th. I bought Doc Martens from DSW, Designer Shoe Warehouse. They were on sale. They're men's Doc Martens, but they were on sale for like $100. So I had to get them. I've been wanting them for a long time. Since they were on sale, I was like, okay, this is a sign. I can return them if I don't like them. So that was $114.11 when it could have been double that. So I had to get them. And then I bought some spandex shorts because I have Nike Pro ones from like in ninth grade. Um, and I have like a pair of Lululemon shorts that I need to wear shorts underneath because they're kind of like running shorts. So they like flap up. So I just wanted those and also under dresses and stuff. So I, those were $28, I think. Um, And then I have been going to Starbucks sometimes. I haven't gone in the past week, but me and my sister and my mother went to Tim Hortons on t Tuesday. April 21st. I didn't pay for it. My mother did, but I'm just gonna include it to see, um, you know, like if I were to go to Starbucks. So they did go to Starbucks a few times since I've been home. And then I bought stuff at Dynamite or gar Garage store from Canada. I bought some stuff from there. I'm gonna do a haul. I'm not saying engage in consumerism over consumerism. I just wanted to treat myself and, um, not an excuse, I'm just saying don't engage in over-consumerism. Be aware, know what fast fashion is, and as long as you're conscious of it, like I'm trying to be, it's okay to- I haven't been able to go thrift shopping, so this is my money spending, and I normally do go thrift shopping, and a lot of my clothes are thrifted, so I recommend thrift shopping. And also, little plug for my friend Meg, she has a blog about, um, it was just her own personal blog, I guess, but she did a post about, uh, Amazon and then one about like sustainable fashion brands. So I'll link that down below. It's really good and I really think everyone should read it and it was really informative of some brands I didn't even know about. So I recommend that for anyone who's interested in like learning more about fast fashion brands and um, how you can be more sustainable. Yeah and then I got paid my Canadian Emergency Response Benefit Plan thing from the federal government. It says federal payment in my bank account. That's kind of exciting. Okay so that's all I spent this week online shopping. Let's add it up. I think it's more than I haven't been online shopping this much every single week. So I have spent two hundred and fourteen dollars and seventy three cents mostly on online shopping. And I would have normally had to do groceries during this time. So that's just funny to see that it's kind of similar. But obviously, before I was spending money on transit, internet, groceries. But now I'm just engaging in in uh, online shopping. So they're both. This, so yeah. Pre-quarantine, $212.14. Post-quarantine, uh, in quarantine, $200.14. $214.73. So similar, but on different things. I spent so much on groceries before this, but I would have had to... S it's just funny to see like what you spend money on and um in a week yeah that's my what i spent before quarantine and what i spent in quarantine on only shopping i'm gonna do a haul once i get my stuff um but yeah i hope everyone's doing well in quarantine and obviously try not to engage in over consumerism because like even amazon workers are not getting paid well or they're they're more at risk so it's not worth putting more people's lives at risk if you don't have to and I'm not saying that I didn't engage in any consumers, I'm just saying I'm not over, I'm not over online shopping and norm as I, more than I normally would. Um, it's just to be mindful and like be educated on the subject at least. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I think that's funny that I spent about the same, but on different things. It really puts into perspective like, your needs and your wants um, that you need to spend. If you guys enjoyed this video, I thought it was a fun twist on the what I spend in a week kind of video. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.